Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today we're going on a treasure hunt. Seek the pearl. Matthew 13, verse 45 to 46. The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls, who on finding one pearl of great value, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Do you want to deepen your intimate relationship with God? I know I sure do, but boy, how the enemy of my soul hates it when I look to fulfill that longing by dwelling in the presence of my king. Satan knows that someone who stays close to God is someone who threatens his work on the earth. In an attempt to counteract the tug of the Holy Spirit, Satan uses one of his favorite techniques, the good old bait and switch. The Lord has cautioned me more times than not to watch out for counterfeit intimacy. When I try to fill that God-shaped void in my heart with anything else than him, I settle for an inferior intimacy. There is no lasting comfort outside of God. He is the only one who can meet those deep, deep needs in our heart. But oh, oh, wretched me. I am easily distracted by my cell phone, the television, social media, a song blaring on a neighbor's radio, the birds outside of my window, an annoying drip of a faucet. They all try to woo me away from him. Left to my own devices, I am hopeless. I am so easily distracted. In Christ, though, I am not hopeless. I cry out to him. I can't do this on my own. I'm helpless without you and without your Holy Spirit. And in response, he reminds me that I can do all things because he strengthens me. If you identify with my plight, I invite you to determined to press in. It's going to take some self-discipline and humility, but press in to know the Lord. Determine to seek his face and to keep your gaze focused in his direction, no matter all the shiny lights and shiny things that would try to pull you away from that. Don't be content with counterfeits. Seek after the pearl of great value. I wrote this a whole lot of years ago, and I have to admit, when I was reading it just now, I was convicted. I have got a shorter attention span now than I did back then. And it is a daily battle to keep my thoughts focused on one thing. Even when I write now, I don't listen to worship music that has lyrics because I'm too easily distracted. I do like to write with some instrumental in the background, but I'm doing everything in my power to stay focused and I'm asking my friends to help me in this area. Uh, a good example was this past Sunday at church when a friend of mine who likes to chit chat wanted to let me know about something that happened when she was in the lobby earlier. And I asked her with true humility, can we talk about this after church? Because right now I have to focus and I'm having a struggle doing that. And I explained to her I wasn't angry with her or anything like that, but that it was my problem and that I was asking her to help me. So if you're kind of like me where everything is squirrel and you have grown so used to multitasking that it's hindering your relationship with the Lord, take it seriously and determine to take back the ground that you allowed distraction to take. 